Hi, uh, this is a quick example app how to implement upvotes and downvotes. Uh, this was inspired by the question on the forum uh, where um, someone has uh, told that there is no instructions there. So I'm going to use the application which I've already used in one of my previous examples, uh, like follow, requested and uh, unfollow. So I'm going to implement the uh, upvote and uh, downvotes for the users so that each user can leave the have a voting system for another user. Of course, you can do it uh, not just for the users, but for, for example, posts and other uh, other collections. Uh, so, but I decided to do it for users. Um, first of all, let's start to create the collection itself. So, I'm going to create a collection called votes. Uh, so it will be the uh, name ID so that I can uh, more technical type of property that I will know who's who voted. Also, I will store the vote itself. Uh, also, I'm gonna uh, keep the vote type. And uh, I will have relationship to users collection. So the first relationship will be a voter relationship. So I, I'm going to create a voter. So user can have many votes, but each vote uh, belong only to uh, one user. And uh, also, the second relationship to the uh, user's collection will be also one to many. It will be recipient. So, the one who has received the vote. And here also I will change, I'm going to change the uh, name for the relationship. As you can see, there are relationship to two, two relationship to one collection. So, in order not to get lost uh, with it, not uh, I will... Uh, sorry, mistake here. So uh, the database is set up properly. Uh, then let me create uh, the logic for the uh, for the voting itself. First, let's start with the uh, number displaying number of votes. So. Uh, as you understand, you would like to uh, users of the application would like to see several uh, the the some some of votes which they have received. So the mark or call it like that. I'm going to create two new labels here just by copying, and here it will be total. Uh, say total mark uh, and here uh, I will display the sum of votes so uh, just as a reminder this is a list of users all users except the uh, current logged in user and here this is a profile of current users so I'm going to display uh, the votes for the current user here so here it will be the uh, current user votes recipient vote value sum so this will be the sum of value of all the votes uh, also what i need to do is to uh, be able to upvote and downvote on this view profile screen uh, i will uh, do it in a moment uh, it will require creating a, a bit complex list so first let me uh, create a rectangle this is a canvas rectangle because uh, i need to show the upvote icon and downvote icon uh, with the uh, conditional visibility and in order for them to be in the same place it's better to put uh, them inside the rectangle so they it keeps kind of kind of keeps the uh, boundaries so this is a, a background rectangle now i will put two icons here two icon buttons so this will be the first one this will be the second one uh the r should touch each other like that let me then 
reduce the size a bit. So now they are inside the rectangle. So this will be the upvote button when I voted. So, and this will display uh, the result. So if I already voted, I need to know that I have upvoted. So it will be different color, say this color. And I will make a group out of it. Uh, this will be upvote group. This will be neutral group. And this will be download group. So for neutral group, I will have different type of icons. So this will be like this, thumbs. And this will be thumbs down. So again, uh, the colored icon should uh, indicate that I have put a vote up, down, or neutral, and the gray icon means that it's, I did not vote like that. So, okay, I have three groups here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a list out of these icons. So this will be the list of votes. Uh, the idea here is that user, each user for each vote, there will be a separate record in the votes database. So just to, to remind you, we have a name ID, vote value, type, voter and recipient. So for each user voting, I'm going to create a separate record for in this database. And I need, uh, in order to indicate which uh, how the vote was given, I need to uh, get access to this votes database. So it will be a list of votes, it will be a list of current user votes recipient. And I also need an, another filter because I don't need all votes for this uh, user. I need uh, to filter it out that voter email is equal to logged in user email. So. Here I will display only the record, vote record for the logged in user for current user. Uh, okay, so now I can display uh, the result of vote uh, and I need to set up the uh, functionality to when I press thumbs up or thumbs down. So uh, first let's set up the functionality. So for this thumbs up, I'm going to update current vote. Uh, so I'm not going to change name ID, vote value, vote value will be one, type will be up, voter logged in user, recipient current user. So for this button again add action update current vote, uh, vote value zero, type up down, voter gonna be logged in user recipient current user and for this will be again update update current vote where vote value will be minus one type will be down voter will be logged in user and recipient will be current user uh, now you may uh, be asking the question why do you need uh, the this vote type and this is needed to decide which type of uh, which icon to display so this will be conditionally visible and it will be visible if current vote type is not equal to up and on the contrary this one will be visible 
if current vote type is equal to up. Uh, the same with this visible only if current vote type is not equal to up down and this visible only if current vote type is equal to up down and the same with uh, thumbs down so this is conditionally visible if current vote vote type is not equal to down and this is visible only if current vote type is equal to down. Uh, you may have uh, asked yourself again uh, why would I like to use the vote types ups and downs but I can just get a value of the vote so when I press thumbs up the value will be one this will be zero and this will be minus one so uh, this is just for future use of course if for this setup the uh, values could be used but there could be cases when each vote has different weight so if one user gives one plus one and another may give like plus ten so uh, for this I am uh, uh, I have created the uh, additional property type so that uh, different vote uh, weights could be used so uh, this functionality is created but uh, the key thing is not yet created so there is a list of votes and this is a list of current user votes but when do I create the first vote uh, and this I'm going to do in the previous screen uh, of course there is a pos uh, possibility to create the uh, add like three icons initial icons to create the votes on this screen uh, the problem here that it's uh, creation of the vote uh, of the record uh, takes some time and if user clicks the button too fast it could be the case that several vote records could be created and as you have already understood after the vote is given there are no more uh, votes could be re vote records could be uh, created uh, in the database only the uh, value of the current vote record could be changed and of course you understand that the change could be restricted uh, if you remove the actions so uh, on this button uh, it's put inside the list of users uh, I am going to uh, create a vote and the name ID will be so it will be logged in user email for current user email on date and time current time less formatted like this so uh, initially what vote value will be zero and I will not put anything into the type here so voter will be logged in user and recipient will be current user and of course I need to put a limit on the vote creation I will I want to have only one vote for from each user to each user so here I will uh, show that this will not happen always but sometimes and this will happen only if only if current user re votes recipient count where the voter email is equal to logged in user email so I'm counting the votes for current user and I'm counting only those votes where the voter email is equal to logged in user and I when I do need to create a vote when there are no such votes so is equal to zero and if the vote exists it will not be created so uh, here is uh, the way it's set up let's test how it works um, so as you can see there are three uh, records here so let me for example go here so fashion blogger as you can see let's upvote okay let's go back and let's see 
Okay, you see that I can downvote or I can make it neutral. And I can go back. Okay, let's upvote this one. Uh, and let me, so this is my account. And let me log out and log in as another user. So as you can see, this is a fashion blogger. Okay, you see that total mark is one. I can upvote and total mark becomes two or I can downvote and total mark becomes zero or it could be neutral. So let me upvote and for example, put the famous composer. So I will downvote this person. And when I re-log in with my first account, so fashion blogger, total mark two. Uh, as you can see, uh, it works. Uh, it would be interesting to look at the database. So here are three votes, as you can see, which were given. So uh, see KUZ for demo user three, demo user one for three, user three, and one to user two. And you have a vote value, you have vote type, voter, and recipient. So with this, uh, you can create a, a upvote and downvote functionality in your app. So this is a quick example. Of course, it could be enhanced uh, in various ways. I hope it was useful. Uh, thank you and hope to see you soon on my channel.